Hi people, me again. Okay, so I watched... What episodes are they on? I think it's... 13 and 14. Because the next two episodes should be the last episodes of this show. They really did lose me. Honestly, I don't know if it's because... The one that I'm watching now, which is Marry My Husband, is just a little more interesting or a lot more interesting. Or it's the huddles that Juwon and Dodo he have to have to like get over that is really putting me off. I still love the show, don't get me wrong, I still love it and I will finish it. It's just that it's too much. So okay, fine. In the, in the last episodes, they figured out that okay, yes, Dodo he's that did indeed sign um he did make a deal with Guon. And um, I don't know if her, his, her mom made the same deal because her mom passed away as well. I think maybe her mom was just catching streets, to be honest. She was just in the car when the accident happened. But the dad was the main guy. So he had signed a deal for the 10 years of success and all that stuff. And that night, they showed him and Madame Ju arguing him. His wife and Madame Ju, they were all arguing in the office. And apparently Madame Ju had made some bad decisions, you know, business decisions that would lead to people dying and once um no dodo his dad was calling her out on it sukmin was in the closet like like the parasite that he is hiding and recording the entire conversation because he knew that obviously it would come in handy at some point so dodo his parents take off because they're trying to you know blow the whistle on madame ju madame ju follows them it turns into this car chase you know something happens at 11 57 dodo his mom looks at the dad and says it's almost time he says don't worry i'll still have time to say goodbye to uh, my dodo he and i'm like are you delusional first of all you only have three minutes left in the day before your 10 years is up second of all you're in a stupid car chase with somebody who doesn't want you to blow the whistle on her because it's going to cost her millions and it's going to ruin her name if anything reputation is a huge deal for these people so i'm not really sure the the delusion that was going on in that car at that point in time Anywho, they have the accident. Uh, Madame Ju comes out, tries to save them. Then she sees Guan standing beside the dad, sees the deal go on fire. Guan looks at her, smiles, and says, uh, You look desperate. Do you want a deal? And she says, No. Then the car explodes, and obviously, that's how Madame Ju got her accident. So now, um, Sukmin has told Dodo He all of this. Dodo He um, is dealing with all these problems. No, um, Sukmin tries to run uh, Seok Hoon out of business because he wants to take over the shares. He wants to take over the entire Miri group. He wants to take over everything. Power is what this man is looking for. Dodo He, uh, Seok Hoon tells Dodo He about the whole thing that's happening um, and all the stuff that's going on. Dodo He stupidly, stupidly, in my decision, runs to Sukmin's office and starts black talking to him figures out because he made this he he quoted something about um the abraxas i think that's how you say it which is his code name for him and that murderer that was trying to kill everybody figures it out that he is the main bad guy stupidly tells Sukmin, and i'm like are you are you an idiot this man is responsible for everything killing his mother trying to kill you trying to kill your husband and you just go there i'm telling you i was so angry so obviously he tries to kill her you know thank god she's married to a demon he appears he um almost kills sukmin but obviously he can't if he kills sukmin he loses his powers so he takes sukmin to that top that clock tower place that he usually stands and looks for desperate people sukmin realizes that there's no out he, he's um he's holding sukmin by the tie realizes there's no out so he releases his tie and kills himself they don't find the body whenever they don't find the body you know what is up the man is still alive and walking somewhere anywho fast forward to dodo he going to the same priest priest that madame ju used to go and do her confessionals to apparently madame ju had taxed him with telling her about you know the deals the demon and everything dodo he comes out pretends like um she doesn't know that go on was the one who that her dad signed a deal with go on and died you know because the deal was up um go on knows go on goes back to visit the priest to find out what he told his wife finds out that that was what he is realizes that he will always cause misery to dodo he he promised dodo he he would never leave her one when she was sleeping and calling his name he promised her that he will always answer two so at the end of episode 15, um, 14 this guy not only broke one promise he broke two promises he left her 
And when she was saying, go on, go on, go on, he didn't answer. He had already disappeared. He had gone. And this broke my heart. I get it. It's a hurdle that I don't know if they can get over. But to be honest, he didn't force Dodo. He's that to sign the deal. You know, it was like personally i'm like okay if you guys want to get through this talk about it deal with it and then overcome it if not don't pretend she was trying to pretend that it didn't happen and trying to just live their life and he did not want to do it. he loves her too much to cause her pain so he left her but in leaving her i think he's caused even more pain for her obviously so they do show us flash forward um for the episodes that are coming out i will be reacting to at least the last episode at this point honestly i'm just tired of it i just want them to be over and done with and just get on and ride into the sunset and be happy with each other because i just can't take it anymore if they give me one more huddle i am not watching the show anymore it's just too much on my nerves they show that um obviously sukmin is not is still alive we all knew that but it looks like dodo he gets captured now um juwon has gone so i don't even know is it juwon or guwon Gohan has gone and I don't even know how he's going to figure out that she's been kidnapped unless he's keeping tabs on her. And in order to keep tabs on her, he has to be watching out for her. So I don't know. I just don't know. And God keeps saying things like, it's written in the stars. You guys will be miserable to, with each other. And I'm like, woman, what is the lesson here? Because I don't understand. I don't know if you understand. I just can't get it. She is pissing me off. I don't understand why they made God so annoying in this. But anywho, I'm looking over it. I'm just updating you guys because I know I'll probably still do the last episode. I'll still react to it because I started. it started so strong. But it's just one thing after the other. And I'm like, you guys, I think you went one, one step too far. Because this is a huge hurdle to try and overcome. How do you overcome the fact that this person potentially killed your dad? Even if it was indirectly. You know? It's it's a weird thing. She just and then she witnessed him killing somebody. Um, somebody's deal was over, and so she witnessed the person die in front of him. And now she realizes that she she she's married to a demon. I'm like, did you not know this before? When you were reaping the benefits of his power, it was all Adida. But now that you see what he actually he actually has to do in order to keep his powers and be who he is, it's too much for you. I just, I don't know. I don't know. It's still a good series, but they lost me. I'm just going to be honest. They really did. So we'll see what 15 and 16 bring. And hopefully the last episode really seals the deal and they take it home for us. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've been watching. Let me know if you agree or if you don't, or if you're seeing a perspective that maybe I'm not seeing because I really appreciate your comments and inputs. You guys are so spot on and you guys catch a lot of things that I don't even see. So yeah, let me know. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. So you know when I post more videos. Bye.